Hello, my name is Christian. Hello, my name is Pierce. And this is the uh, Muslim Talk Show. And we're going to talk to you about the Sunni Shia split. Hello, folks. Um, welcome to the Muslim Talk Show. We're here to talk to you about the Sunni and Shia split. So let's get right into it. Well, uh, first, before we start, Christian, I have to go to the bathroom. Dude, this is not the right time. Not at the right time. Oh, well, it's perfect that we have a, a Sunni Muslim in the house. That's, yeah. that's great. Um, I would love for you to talk to me about um, Sunnis. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, between 87 and 90 percent of Muslims are Sunni, and they are con concentrated in Saudi Arabia and Egypt. The uh, Sunnis believe that Abu Bakr was the rightful caliph and, and was the most prepared for the position, while Ali was not. Uh, Sunni fold their arms during the, during Salat, and Shia do not fold their arms during during Salat. And uh, we pray five times a day, and they only pray they only pray three. Really? Yeah. So I did. I didn't know that. That makes us better. It's pretty interesting. And uh, research from 2012 shows that 40% of the Sunni Muslims that live in Middle East, in the Middle East and North Africa do not approve of the Shia Muslims. Wow. Yeah. Neither that's, do I. That's pretty crazy right there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, thank, thank you for talking about the Sunnis. I have one more thing. Oh, oh. Yeah. The uh, Sunnis also rely on the uh, Sunnah <laughs> as one of their uh, holy books, which is a record of uh, the teachings and sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. Very interesting. Well, thank you for coming on the Muslim Talk Show. It was great having you. Okay, well, have a, have a good rest of your day. You too. Oh, hey, what's going on, Christian? How was, uh, what happened while I was gone? Dude, a Sunni came by and he told us all about the Sunnis. It was great. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, he forgot his pen. I got Back. Yeah. I'll just be chilling by myself then. Oh my God! What a coincidence! Hey. Hey, <laughs> Dan. Wild Shia. Okay. Um. Well, we were just talking about uh, the Sunni Shia split on the uh, Muslim talk show, and we were wondering uh, um, what she is, uh, how she is, and Sunnis are different from each other. Oh, well, um, the Shias, uh, between 10% and 13%, are Shias in the world, and they are concentrated in Iran and southern Iran. Um, the Sh Shias uh, believe in Ali and said and not. Abu Bakr, like the Sunnis, and they believe in Ali because he was the rightful caliph, and, and he was related to Muhammad. Uh, Shias pray three times a day, and the Shia rely on the Ayatollahs as one of their holy books, which they believe is the sign from God. Wow, that's some great information right there. Thank you, yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm glad I could share some knowledge for you guys. Okay, well, uh, thank you, and uh, well, I think it's time for you to go. All right, well, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, hey, Christian. Guess oh, what? Hey. Guess what just happened? What? I just I just met a Shia. No way. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Did he talk to you about the Shias? Yeah, he did. It's great. It was, that was actually great information. Wow. All right. It was great having the uh, two Shun the the Sunni and the Shia on the uh, on the show. On the show. Yeah, that was great. It it gave us a good understanding of uh, what they differ. Yeah, good but information. Let's talk great. about what they both have in common. Let's do it. Okay, so both Sunnis and Shias uh, take up twenty five percent of the world population, wow. and Whoa. take up and are one point six million. In the world. Whoa. That's yeah. a lot. That is a lot. Well, did you know that both groups agree that God's messenger was Muhammad and also follow the five pillars in the Quran? 
Yeah, and uh, did you know it was like very rude to ask uh, what type of, if they were Sunni or Shia? I did not know that. That's great to know. Well, did you know that Sunni and Shias live peacefully due to the Shias losing political power? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the uh, countries where Shias are the majority have a Sunni leader. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, now since we know more about the Sunni and Shias, um, I'm starting to wonder, how, how do they split? Yeah, well, uh, the uh, start of the conflict uh, between the Sunnis and Shias uh, started in 1632 when they were forced to choose a new caliph when Muhammad died. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. The uh, Shias thought it should be Ali because he was related to Muhammad and the uh, job should stay in the family. But the uh, Sunnis thought that the, uh, the true caliph should have been Abu Bakr because he was the most fit for the job. And thought whoever was the most prepared and the be and the best for the job for the job should become the caliph. Oh. The uh, Sunnis ended up choosing the uh, first caliph as uh, Abu Bakr, but uh, later Ali would be the uh, fourth caliph. But yeah. when he was chosen as the caliph, war broke out and he was eventually killed in the battles. Sadly. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> the. Uh, War and violence would split the Muslims into two separate groups, and they, they would sadly never reunite. What a uh, shame. Ali's, uh, when Ali's grandson uh, tried to become the next caliph, he would uh, end up standing against the caliph at the time, and uh, his family would end up getting massacred, massacred by a large Arabic army oh. at the Battle of Karbala. Wow, but that's crazy. The Shias have a holiday for the day of Husayn's uh, death, and it involves uh, mourning, known as uh, Ashura, for his bravery and to stand up against the uh, caliphs. And it, in the uh, Shia, they believe that it, he is the third Imam, which uh, is leader. Oh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Thanks for sharing the start of that with me, honey. Yeah, well, uh, now that we know about the uh, start of the Sunni-Shia split, uh, do you know anything that's happening in, like, the past 50 years to, like, today? Yeah, I mean, in 1991, the U.S. military outs the Iraqi army from Kuwait. The Shiites of southern Iraq rebel against Saddam, who puts down the rebellion brutality. Thousands of Shiites are killed. That's a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, in 2001, Al-Qaeda leads the Sunni Muslim fundamentalist mounted an attack on the United States, killing 3,000 people. That's a lot of U.S. people. Like, I don't know how I feel about the religion anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. In 2003, the U.S. military invades Iraq, topples Saddam, and Iraq insurgents erupt, led by Sunni Ba'athists and Al-Qaeda. Um. I didn't know that. Um, from 2005 to 2006, Iraq elect uh, elections bring Shiite political parties to power, and Baghdad, backed by Iran and the Sunnis, did not like that. Their power was getting taken over away, so tensions be between Sunni and Shias began, and violence uh, began. Uh, in 1980, July 5th, Tens of thousands of Shiites protest in the capital of Pakistan against the Sunnis' law, laws on all of Muslims. Uh, September 22nd, 1980, Saddam Hussein, a Sunni, ruler, uh, a Sunni ruler, uh, ruling a Shia country, uh, starts an eight-year war. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a, a long, long war. Uh, in 1998, the Taliban killed at least 2,000 Shias in Afghanistan from Sunni fundamentalists. Um, ISIS uh, is known for brutality against the Shia and Sunnis who oppose it. That's not good. Yeah. In 2016, tensions between Saudi Arabia, uh, the Sunnis, and Iran, the Shiites, battle to be the dominant nation in the Middle East. Seems like a lot of these uh, points are very yeah. battle-like and 
Negative. A lot of fighting in the yeah. past 50 years between the Sunni and Shias. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in uh, the Middle East, political power was a big deal between the Sunnis and Shias. And uh, in the year 1500, uh, Persia was all about the uh, Sunnis. And then when the uh, Azari conquerors came in and established the Safavid dynasty in Persia, they made it Shia. And the uh, Shiite would be the glue that held Persia together and differed from the surrounding land, oh. all being Sunni. This uh, made the Sunni very mad because I can this imagine. was I mean, this was like one of the first times that yeah. they didn't have power over over something. Yeah, I can see them being and very mad. They were they had controlled over the per over Persia for hundreds of years. Yeah, and uh, this grew the split between the Sunnis and Shias immensely. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I would be mad, too, if I was the Sunnis. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, our producer is telling us that's we got to wrap up. So thank you for listening to the Muslim Talk Show. Uh, and uh, uh, we hope you uh, learned something. Yeah. And uh, go subscribe. And click the notification button. Thank you.